dare to play. I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. All right, Nancy. Hello, friends. What's up? Welcome back to Yen Truck Gaming. Thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. Today we're finally doing it. We're finally starting our Nancy Drew series. This will be game number one, Secrets Can Kill. I believe this game came out in the late 90s if I remember right, so I'm pretty sure the graphics are going to be on point. Nevertheless, this should still be a good time. I'm really excited to start. I forget how many games there are. There's probably close to 40 of these games that have come out, so this is game number one. Let's, uh, let's do what Nancy said here and figure out how to play this game. How to Be a Detective by Nancy Drew. What's new? In this game, you'll also have a cell phone with lots of features, phone, camera, and settings. Each mode can be accessed by selecting its icon from the main menu. Phone mode stores all the numbers you'll need to know. Bring up the correct contact or dial in the number yourself and press call. Camera mode allows you to take and view photos. When in camera mode, you can zoom in and pan before taking the picture. Click on View Photos to see your saved photos. You'll be downloading photos later from the View Photos mode. And the Settings menu allows you to personalize the look of your phone by choosing one of the options in the drop-down. Okay, so let's look at moving to around. To get from one place to another in the game, just move your cursor around on the screen and click when an arrow pointing in the direction you want to go appears. An arrow pointing forward allows you to go forward, while a back arrow allows you to step back. Sometimes up and down arrows are available, too. Give it a try. Find the forward arrow and check out Mr. Woogle Woggle. He's my teddy bear. When you want to turn around, move your cursor to the bottom of the screen until it turns into an arrow that looks like a U-turn or back arrow, and click. Each I always use my magnifying glass to scan my surroundings for clues. When it turns red, I know I'm onto something. When your magnifying glass turns into a question mark, you can talk to someone. When it becomes a hand, you can use it to open and close things, pick up objects, and move things around. To see how this works, move your mouse over this scene until the magnifying glass turns red. Then click to zoom in. See how the magnifying glass turned into a hand when you rolled it over the key? That means you can pick it up. When you click on an object with the hand cursor, that object gets added to your inventory. To see what's in your inventory, just click on the inventory icon at the bottom of the screen. To use an item that's in your inventory, just click on it. In fact, try clicking on the key. See how the cursor turned into the item you clicked on? Use the key to click on the lock on my suitcase, and you'll see how to return an object to your inventory. Just click on the inventory icon, then click on the open inventory box, and the object will go back into storage. You can close your inventory by clicking on the square in the upper right-hand corner, by clicking on the inventory icon, or by clicking on another icon. I keep reminders to myself in my journal. Click on the notebook icon at the bottom left of the screen, and you'll see what I mean. I try to keep my notes tidy by putting them into categories. Just click on a category and you'll see all the entries on that topic I've made up to that point in the game. Click on the clipboard icon and if you're a junior detective, you'll see a list of what I need to do. Organized person that I am, once I've done something, I check it off. Okay.
Check. Questioning suspects is something all detectives need to know how to do. In the game, to get people to talk to you, all you have to do is click on them. Let's say I've clicked on Mr. Wogglewoggle here. Our conversation will appear in the text box with his words in yellow and my responses in blue. Click on a response and see what your suspect says next. If there are a lot of words in the text box, use the scroll bar to move the text up and down so you can read along. Excuse me, giant human person, but you seem to be pretty nosy, especially for someone who hardly even has a nose. I mean, compared to mine. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Wogglewoggle, but I'm not nosy. I'm just very curious. Before you can start playing, you need to decide whether to play as a junior or senior detective. If you choose junior detective, you'll get more hints than you will if you're a senior detective, and the puzzles will be a little easier. When you're ready to start playing, just click on the plane tickets and hang on to your hat. Found a quarter. Okay, let's read the case file. Current assignment, a student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the murder. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. Is that it? Um, all right, I guess we just hit the plane ticket and go, right? This is my first time playing, so I'm going to go with Junior this time. I probably could do Senior, but... Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week. And an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. So, it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case, Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. <laughs> She's so happy about it. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take a look around at these things here. All these places we can go. Let's look at this. Nancy, I had to close the school library early today, but if you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. Remember, do not enter in a wrong combination. Be careful, Aunt Eloise. Okay. Thanks, Aunt Eloise. Can we open drawers? Yay! Oh, Roscoe Del Mar University and the Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority cordially invite you to attend the 25th Annual Sigma Phi Kappa Delta Sorority Reunion, Saturday the 23rd. The Emerald Crest Ballroom, rest, is, that, is that a P or an R? I can't, I can't tell. Pasco Del Mar Country Club, Pasco Del Mar, Florida. Round Robin Golf Tournament starts at... 3.30, reception and dinner at 7 o'clock, dessert, dancing immediately following. Okay. Calculator. Can we open these other drawers? No. All right. I guess let's go back here. Safe. Oh. I don't even know what the safe is yet, do I? Oh, yeah, I do. It was on that letter. Hang on. Um, keep going. It was on this. 6 OKS -OK kind of thing. 6 OKS. 6 O. Alright, which my 
key. I'm gonna go in my inventory. Good. Is that my case file? Okay. Anything else in here that I can look at or take? Oh, it's a puzzle. Puzzle number one complete. School computer login. Eloise Drew, password Owise Elder. Alright, stick that in my inventory, please. Wait. Oh, some of these things can't be put into your inventory? Well, what are we gonna do about that? How did you uh, do camera mode again? Like, can I take a screenshot of this? Haven't done that. That's done. Okay. Can't check that off yet. Let's see if Aunt Eloise sent me a note. Okay, so we got a couple of those. Camera. Yes. Awesome. else back there. Alright, it looks like that's it for here. Okay, what's in this room? Reminders, talk to Jake about the library books out of order. Call Nancy to get flight number. Call Jackie about Spanish schools. Okay. Not sure why I would need that. That's just Eloise. Doesn't seem to be anything else up there. Let me look at this one. Nope. on the couch. Books. We actually get to read a story? The Haunted Ghost Bridge. Strange things have happened on this bridge. Some people have reported hearing screams and cries from below the span. Others have reported ghostly figures looming at the end, and even others have felt a cold tingling sensation throughout their body when crossing. No one is certain about the origin of these sightings, but the first documented case of spectral phenomenon occurred around the turn of the last century when a troop of Girl Scouts camped out here. All returned with their hair turned white. None of the frightened campers spoke a word until a year later. A year! At first the girls just babbled incoherently or screamed or laughed. A psychiatrist specializing in traumatic experiences was asked to examine the girls, but the girls would only say one phrase, follow the X to the spot below. Creepy. All right. Thought I saw something up here for a second. Maybe not. 
Do we look over here? Not really. Oh, look at this trunk. Ooh. Found a quarter. Found another quarter. I guess those are my hints if I need them. Is that really all that's in here? Hmm. Okay. Twas a treasure chest. Are these the books that are out of order? Found a key to the lounge. Oh, TV. Don't have anything to put in there yet, I don't believe. Got a couple of keys though. Supposed to read this? During a trip with Maxine, Maggie learned an old hiker's trick. Are Lena and Maggie coming to tea? inquired Carrie. No, they've gone to see the bandit's treasure at the Land O'Lakes Theater, replied Anya. Brady Armstrong is playing the lead. Ooh, I once visited Brady's restaurant in Napa, California, squealed Renate. It's called Mama Lonnie's. It was magnificent. I ate there, said Carrie, and got sick on a jellyfish sandwich. Ah ha ha ha, Bob whinnied. Oh, offered Renate, you should have tried the dog's eye. It was Robin Hood. A barking dog would do well to hold his tongue in that neighborhood, joked Carrie. Everyone laughed. I rarely dine out, complained Anya, only once in a blue moon. Stifling a yawn, Renate put down her Glam Glam magazine. When are we going to return to the big island? Mike stood up and glared at Renate. Fish. Pish, pish. You know I'll never go back there. Oh, don't be such a baby, scolded Renate. Mike is afraid to go back because he got bit by a spider there, she explained to the other guests. He went to the ER and was bill... He went to the ER and the bill was huge because his copay is so much. Facts. My dad always wants to preach and complain about high insurance costs, muttered Lucas. You know... I always wanted to be an astronaut, Carrie interrupted. Did you hear that Daryl is going to the Air Force Academy? Is he? Asked Renee, offering a plate of cutlets to her guest. Good book, good book. All right, looks like we've kind of glanced at everything there. Can we not go in here? Is it locked? It appears to be locked. Let's go to the school. Hello? Nancy Drew, Detective Beach here. How are you? Good. Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. All right, let's go see Uncle Steve. The games. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So, what can I do for you? Tell me about the, the high school. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. I mean, I know what, what happened, happened, but tell me. One of the students was murdered in the school last week. 
Ooh. Let's say what happened. What happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. I mean, all of these, since we told him that we just moved here, all of these questions of who did it, who died, that really doesn't make sense because we technically don't know anybody, but we'll ask anyway. Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective, maybe even the FBI. It's me. Did this Jake guy have any enemies? Sure, doesn't everyone? Hmm, fair. Is that it? Are we done talking now? I should get back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. See you later. See you later. Nice talking later. to you. Nice talking to you, Daryl. Uncle Steve? Uncle Steve! Nancy! <laughs> Why, I haven't seen you since... Uh, uh, for a long time. <laughs> How's your... Aunt. Aunt Eloise. Oh, he's a bad actor. Oh, she's fine. <laughs> and Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit... Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... Uh, suburban. Yeah. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? That's it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Nancy. Bye, Uncle Steve. Nothing really to look at here. Menu. H I S J I S H CR3. Interesting. Let's take a can we, can we take a picture of this? I have a feeling that those uh, words in different colors there are gonna Gonna mean something. Gonna mean something specific. Better keep an eye on that. Vertical blast. Ahoy, matey. Your job be to scrub our barnacle ridden decks by blasting them, up, blasting them out of the way with your magic ball. Be on the lookout for creatures, objects, with special powers. Scrubbing a chest increases your paddle size. Scrubbing a mine decreases the paddle size. Scrubbing an anemone slows down the magic ball. Scrubbing a whirlpool speeds up the magic ball. Good luck and start your scrubbing. All right. somewhere.
Uh, we actually get seven balls. Is that is that right? I got distracted. Gotta get all these barnacles off. The music just stopped. It's kind of creepy now. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. It's actually going faster now. I used to love arcade games like this when I was a kid. Awesome. Look how big my pal is! To the right, come on. I spent all this time playing. We've got a crime to solve. A kid got murdered, and we're just like, yeah. Let me play my arcade games first, though. It's important. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shout out the uh, bigger paddle there. There you go. Nice one. Be nice if I could get it inside that top row there. one. Let me turn the jukebox back on. Well, I crashed. That was not fair. <laughs> you cheated. Can't have this game from the 90s crash on me and then say I lose. That's not right. This happened a lot with Game with the 90s. I guess we need to come in here first and try to get that uh, bigger paddle. 
actually, we should get this first. There we go. back over a little bit. Is there like real time in this? When I come out of here, is it going to be like midnight? Ooh, close one. Ah, missed again. Got one. There we go. There we go. for that one. Wasn't ready for that one. Why is it going so fast? Oh. oh, come on. I had that one. You've given me a lot of different ones that were a lot further away than that. Only three left. Four. We can get this last one here. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. See, that one wasn't even as close as the other one. Oh. 
Two left. One more. It's become a lot more finicky in these later rounds. Fun. This one's out of order. Bummer. Alright. So I guess we probably just need to go to uh, the school. Right? Is that what this is? Oh no, that's the lodge. Uh, this is the school, obviously. Paseo de Mar High School. The fighting manatees. Nineteen seventy six. Let's make sure we're taking a look at. Uh, everything here at the entrance if we can. Doesn't look like they have too much here for us to look at. At least not yet. I'll go in the hallway though. Press forward. Let's look at this stuff here. Surf club. A map. So this is going to be uh, right, left, down, up. Letters first will help my plight. The first letters will help my plight. Right, left, down, up. This must be his locker. I don't think I have anything with his uh, combination on it, though, did I? Jake's locker has old police tape on it. HEV2, I don't know what that means. Someone's left a strange message on the bulletin board. Could it have been Jake? XER3. Okay, um, hang on. That was just my journal. Ned, victim. Need to be looking out for his journal. Jake worked in the library. We need to find the library. Daryl Gray says he didn't know Jake very well, but he seemed shook up about Jake's murder. Let's look at our to-do list. Okay, um, I did this. Done. All right, so I just need to get to the library and talk to some students, basically. Is this the same bulletin board? This is a different one. Another one. Find the morning edit edition and discover another crime. The answer is in black and white to how I'll do the time. I R D two. What do these letters mean? Hmm. Honor student of the month. All right. We're learning a little bit here. Homecoming. Hang on. Did I get everything I needed to get here? 
que ça. KRL2. Not sure what those letters mean. Should we take a picture of that one? just all the same thing. It's just got a big hitbox on it. All right. Um, uh, we're still looking for the library. It looks like it's over this way. Which is where we want to go. trying to take my time here so I don't miss anything. Student art. Nothing under the student art. This looks like a puzzle. Is it not? I guess it's not. Wait, did I just go in circles? Kinda. Just keep moving forward. Looks like we found the library. Right? Okay. Finding all kinds of coins, but I'm not finding anything to look at. Hey, buddy. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. <laughs> but I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. Do you plan on staying in America after you finish high school? My family is counting on me to succeed here. I must make them proud of me. Hmm. Proud of you? In Japan, it's very important that you do something your family can take pride in. I have made some mistakes, but I try to be a decent person. Hmm. What kind of mistakes? Yeah, he's an honor student of the, of the month. about this now. Please excuse me. Talk to him again. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular and a good politician, too. Oh. Just like his father. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Oh. Let's see if he knows the combination to the locker. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. All right. Bye. See you later, Nancy. I like him. Here's a big old bulletin board. What do you want to show me? Paseo High School, school News, seniors... All entries and art exhibit must be picked up at the library on Thursday. See Eloise Roof for info. Oh, here it is. CR1 will seal my murder's fate. Oh, the hidden videotape will seal my murderer's fate. Oh, hidden videotape. Can we find um, Aunt Eloise anywhere? Oh, 
Wait, can I not go in there? I can't go in the gym? Three of them. Yikes. Nowhere to turn to, nowhere to hide. Let the books in the library be your answer guide. So is this like, um, kind of Dewey Decimal? Is this where we're going to find the books and the tape at? Oh, I was like, I hear footsteps. It kind of scared me a little bit. A symbol of kanji? I don't know what that word is. Worn with great pride reflects big secret that someone must hide. Yeah, this one's tough to read. He he did what it took to make the to make the grade ever if even if it meant oh something to keep up his Ooh. it's like it's not a G what is it C C H O R O D A D E charade C H E oh cheating even if it meant cheating to keep up his grade. Hmm. So there's a cheater here. And I guess Jake knew about it. Why would you zoom me in on this? There's nothing in there. I need a soda yet, but I might need one eventually. So let's, uh, hang on to that. Okay. May need that eventually. Trash can. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. Oh, jeez, dude. Whoa, a new girl at school. <laughs> He's kidding me. Do you me. realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. I want to say, how did you know I was here? You're just standing there watching me, and it freaked me out. The Hulk? <laughs> you are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. He's a winner. College ball? Yeah, I'm playing great football this year. I'm expecting an offer from a Big Ten school any day now. Yeah, so you cheated in order to uh, make the grade, right? A Big Ten school? What will you major in? Football! I'm destined to become a college <laughs> star and then turn pro. Doesn't then, work that way. When I'm famous, jerks like Jake Rogers will eat my socks for Ooh. breakfast. Doesn't Does Jake like Jake. Rogers' death concern you? Why should it? I have a big future ahead of me. That's all that concerns me. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. So you're just gonna stand there staring at me and then you didn't even give me any info? How's it going? How could I get into Jake's locker? I could tear the door off with my teeth. <laughs> but it just might be easier to ask Hal Tanaka. His locker was mm, right next to Jake's. I already asked Hal. Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. 
but I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Oh. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. Oh. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. <laughs> I like Hal. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Really interesting. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Anything else How's I need going? to talk to him about? I'll talk to you later. Nothing See else. Ya. See ya. Fighting manatees. Crane School of Self Defense. 555 five, five, Judo. Wonder if we can uh, keep that phone number. Hmm. 555 five, five, Judo. Um. And I can't go in here. Alright, should we. I mean, we need to go to. We need to try to go find Eloise, but I kind of want to talk to Hal again, too. Is he still in here? He's gone. Oh, there he is. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. Wow. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. Hmm. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. Hulk said your locker's right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Hmm. I remember one day, Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Would that help? Nope. Bye. Farewell, <laughs> Nancy. He wished he had a phone. I think we can go back and go to the right from where we came in. We didn't look at anything down this direction yet. Looks like we can't go in any of the classrooms. Nothing on this one? There's gotta be something on here. Which one do you want me to look at? This one. The Roaring Girl, a Jacobian comedy performance is our Friday s through Sunday at 8 p.m. Doctor Deception, a poetic drama written by the senior essay winner of Paseo High School. Student files under lock and key will show the lies of the doctor to be. Okay, tickets go on sale Monday at 9. Let me check my journal. Hal said Jake wished he had a phone handy to remember his locker combination. So he's going to take a picture of it, I assume. All right, let me see here. What did we do? Still have to do that. Still have more there. Can't check that off yet. Still have more there. Did that. Okay. Check out all the posters in the gym area. Check. Okay. Can't check that off yet. I need to go back and talk to Hulk again. Still have to do that. I need to use my phone for his... Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. It 
Is that the stairs? Hang on, let's go this way first. Don't want to go down the stairs yet. Is this, oh, were we back in the library? Where is this? I mean, not the library. Huh. There's a lot of stuff on this board. Friends and family invited to come to the fifth annual picnic of the Paseo de Mar Junior High School Marching Band. Meet in the parking lot at 9 in the morning. Picnic will take place December 8th at Walden Reservoir. Woodwinds and percussion should wear full dress, whites, except for hats. Brass recital is set for later. Is that it? I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anything here. Okay. Let's head this way. Hi, I'm Connie. Hi, Can't Connie. Come around here, are you? No. Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Hmm. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. Hmm. Who was killed? Oh, just this wannabe stud named Jake Rogers. Oh. What do you mean? Poor Jake. Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody oh. liked him. Oh. I gotta go now. Later. Uh, I'm not done talking to you yet. Hey, Nancy. Need something? I didn't even introduce myself. <laughs> How'd you know my name? Wow. Do you know how Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. This is the lady to come to for, for the gossip. She knows everything about everybody. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. Yeah. What about Daryl? How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. Oh. He's the only guy I'd ever consider <laughs> dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. His dad's yeah, a politician, remember? Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Maybe Daryl was working with Jake? What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Okay. Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. Oh. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. <laughs> huh. I guess that comes with a territory of being school monitor. Normally it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks. Hmm. She seems like she's got a bit of a temper on her, too. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. All right. Can we do anything else with hey, her? Hey, Nancy. Need something? No. See you later. See you later. Adios. Adios. It's more, more about the, the, uh, the judo, judo stuff. Are these, uh just hints or are they more monies for something? I mean, I could get a drink, right? Let me have spot cola. Mm. <laughs> yeah, to whip my whistle. Phone book? Nope. It's just the soda machine. Okay. We could go in this room. Is this where Aunt Eloise is? That's off limits for you. 
Okay. Until you can show me some teaching credentials, you're not allowed in. Okay, Connie. Take a chill pill. Um, which way you did I want to go? I think I could come back here and talk to Hal again. All right. Was he this way? Still here. How's it going? I thought you had practice. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Tough time? Tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. Oh. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain. No big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. At least he's got confidence in himself. I like that. Goodbye. See ya. How's it going? Gotta go. I gotta go. You told me you Bye. had to go to practice. Okay, let me uh, check my list here. I'm gonna make Connie leave. Oh, so I need to set off the uh, the alarm for the machines. Check. Okay, oh. Connie's wearing the kanji, kanji symbol. Check. Okay. Still have to do that. I thought I went to the library. Here's the library. Do I have a key? Nope. Uh, this one? Nice. 